I'm the network president at Spark TV. A lot of people have asked for my desk setup video. So today, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna show off my desk, my work from home setup, my office. It's 2021, we call things very differently these days. And my desk has evolved over the years. I first, uh, well, most people know I'm a Apple user. And I first came over to Apple probably in 2013. Um, my first com Apple computer was the 2010 Mac Mini. Loved the machine. And then the 2014 model came out and I upgraded. And I'm gonna say the least, that was not that good of a model. <laughs> I ended up upgrading uh, two years later to the 2016 12-inch uh, Retina MacBook uh, M5 version, and great machine again. Um, then in 2018, the magic came back to the Mac Mini, and um, I ended up getting the i3 model. And then in 2020, they refreshed the Mac Mini. I ended up getting the i5 at that point. Um, but with things starting to get back to normal and Apple switching over to the M1 machines now, I've decided to redo my desk setup around that again. And um, now I'm rocking the 13 inch 2020 MacBook Pro M1. So let's start off with the main thing that runs the whole setup, the desk. This is the real space Brent Dogleg Desk. It was sold at Office Max and Walmart. It's no longer available. <laughs> I've had this thing now for about seven years and it has been the best desk I've ever had. Um, from the drawers to the um, space underneath, um, being able to attach wire underneath the desk, uh, just to the amount of room on the desk itself, uh, it's just amazing. Um, you have little hidden spaces and compartments also to where you can uh, hide things, including my, uh, of course, trusty DVD uh, writer, so I can watch DVDs, which, of course, is connected through USB-C. So I, I always recommend uh, if you get a DVD writer, uh, to switch out the cable if you're able to. Uh, they're available on Amazon pretty cheap, micro, uh, or excuse me, not micro, mini B to USB-C. Now let's head over to the, um, well, I guess the thing that runs the entire setup, our 2020 MacBook Pro. And of course, the D-Brand skins. I'm a huge D-Brand fan. Um, they're not the easiest thing to put on, but they're pretty simple. Uh, we are rocking the Black Dragon skin from D-Brand. Um, our MacBook Pro, of course, is the 16 gigabyte model. Uh, it's running one terabyte uh, solid state drive. Um, I always recommend getting as much storage as possible. Um, even if you have iCloud space, um, especially with us at uh, Spark TV, we use the uh, iCloud for everything. Um, and we also have a OneDrive for business. And basically the OneDrive for business is a backup of sorts for people who don't use iCloud, um, for showrunners or producers or anything that um, use Windows. We, um, we will create a bucket on there with an upload link for them to send their files to us. Otherwise we can, we will use iCloud for everything else. And everything for Spark TV is in the iCloud. Um, and basically having that one terabyte solid state drive gives us the opportunity to keep everything locally um, as well, which is uh, really cool to access files easy and um, intuitively. <laughs> and of course our MacBook Pro has uh, the two Thunderbolt 3 uh, USB 4 ports. And of course, one of them is connected to our LG Ultrafine 4K display, 
which uh, is probably one of the best displays uh, available that uh, Apple offers. This is the older 21.5 inch model, uh, which is of course standing on our 12 South curve riser, um, which is a great monitor stand. And I actually forgot to mention that our MacBook Pro is actually standing on the 12 South curve. So as you can tell, we are huge 12 South fans, and I mean, they offer great products, and they're affordable for everyone. Now, previously in my setup, I had HomePods actually on the desk serving as speakers for my Mac. Well, the latest HomePod OS betas have been very buggy, and with the M1 machine, especially on macOS Monterey Beta, it's been a very bad experience. I decided to transfer my HomePod Minis and use them as a setup on my TV in my bedroom. And um, they actually replaced the sound bar and they actually sound a lot better than the sound bar because on the latest HomePod OS, they actually now give you the option to set the HomePod Minis, a stereo pair, as your main TV speakers and also brought Dolby Atmos support. Shh, I'm not supposed to tell anyone that though. <laughs> hint, hint, wink, wink. So we are rocking the Bose SoundLink Color 2, which is one of the best Bluetooth speakers I've ever had. Um, I think it gives great stereo sound um, and serves as a great Mac speaker. Also on our desk, of course, we are running a Showtech MagSafe wireless charger. It has the MagSafe for the iPhone 12 Pro and also down here a wireless charger for your AirPods. And I love my AirPods. I'm, I'm sorry. They are one of the best headphones available. Um, you can, a lot of people will sit there and say, oh no, the Sonys are good, um, the Google Pixel Buds are good, but at the end of the day, I think the AirPods Pro are one of the best headphones, earbuds available on the market, and how flawlessly they work with my iPad, my Mac, and my iPhone is just amazing. Um, and, and also, I am a huge HomeKit guy. Um, my entire house is run on HomeKit. Um, I have both Nano Leaf bulbs, the the Nano Leaf Essentials bulbs. Uh, I have Lifix uh, Mini Whites, and of course I have some Miros plugs. Um, and of course everything I mentioned in the video here will be linked in the description below. Getting back to our desk setup now, we're running the IKEA Hardy little desk lamp. It has a little uh, toggle switch. And of course we put our little plant for some color uh, <laughs> to lively up the desk a little bit. Our Bose speaker actually is red. As you'll notice, everything on the desk has a black color. We decided on the Bose speaker being red in order to add an accent color to the desk. And of course on the other side of the desk sits our iPad Pro 2020 running the A14 uh, Z chip. Um, and of course we have a little watch charger by Satachi on top and we're running the Magic Keyboard on it. Um, can't wait for Universal Control actually to actually come to Mac OS Monterey Beta uh, as Apple has promised to be able to use our Magic Keyboard and uh, trackpad as a universal um, trackpad and keyboard for all of my Apple devices, be able to also use it on the iPad. Um, because of the limitation on the M1 machines only being allowed to hook one display, and sometimes I need three screens. As you can see, I, ro I rock a dual monitor set up already with the MacBook Pro and the LG Ultrafine. So sometimes having that sidecar as Apple calls it, using that third monitor wirelessly on the iPad is a pretty cool feature. And of course we're rocking the Apple Magic uh, Trackpad and Magic Keyboard Extended Version in Space Gray, sitting on top of this really nice uh, desk mat that I found. 
Um, it has the globe of the world on it. It's a really nice uh, material. I have it mounted down onto the desk. It kept rolling up on me. So I found this like booger looking uh, stuff actually by 3M that I used and it hasn't popped up since. And as far as the posters go, there's not much stories about them. Of course, we have the Spark TV logo and we have some posters of shows. The VBC TV one kind of brings back story. If anybody knows the history of Spark TV, we were once known as VBC TV for many years and uh, rebranded in 2014 to Spark TV. So we always keep a memory of our past. Um, I always live by a good motto, don't let go of your past. Um, because if you basically, you're always doomed to repeat the past if you don't remember the past. Uh, you, you kind of have to hold on to it. I forget the, uh, how exactly the saying goes, but, um, it's something that was taught to me a long time ago, along with another good saying, if you don't learn something new every day, is, uh, life worth living. Um, so a couple models that I, I try to, uh, learn every day, um, but that pretty much does it for uh, my uh, desk, my work from home uh, office setup. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and um, hopefully we can do something again like this soon. Take care guys.